hi guys welcome back to my channel today's a video I'm deciding to do a full face of my TJ Maxx and Marshall's makeup I have so much makeup here I didn't realize until I was like going through my collection I was thinking do I have enough makeup from TJ Maxx and Marshall's to do a full face and when I was searching through my whole collection, I actually do have enough makeup. I have a primer, there's concealer, foundation, powder, blush, bronzer, highlight, even an eyeshadow palette. There's even, I think, a setting spray that I can use in my drawer to set my makeup. So, <laughs> I was just surprised when I went, like, searching through my collection, how much stuff actually came from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So... Let's take off our glasses. How was y'all's day going? This is my first video back. I've been out of commission <laughs> pretty much for a little bit. I was, my son was sick and then I got sick and it was like in my eyes. My eyes were red, they were draining and I didn't want to touch my makeup because I was afraid that it would infect my makeup and then I'd have to throw it out. Because I was like, what if it's pink eye? Then it's going to be in my makeup and you have to, if it's something contagious like that, you have to toss it. Because if you use it again, you're going to get pink eye again. It wasn't pink eye. It was just allergies. <laughs> Once I started taking some allergy medicine, I was better. But even like my face was swollen and everything. I never had allergies so bad in my whole life. I still can't believe it. <laughs> but... I am back and better than ever, hopefully, <laughs> but today I am excited to do the full face of TJ Maxx and Marshall's makeup and the first thing I'm going to use is, uh, I have two primers because you know I like to use going with like a moisturizing primer and then I like to top it off with my Glossier Future Do. There's just something about topping off my moisturizer with a glowy oil type of serum that's just a thick and delicious on my face. So I'm not going to do that today though because the Glossier is not from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. But I do have another serum that is kind of, I guess it's kind of like the Glossier Future Do. I've never used it so I don't know. But <laughs> I have never used this one either. So the first primer I'm going in with is the Too Faced Major Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. This is like a big thing. It's supposed to be moisturizing. comes with a little pump. I must confess I bought it and I still haven't used it. Have you all tried this primer? before it's supposed to be a good moisturizing primer i just did like three pumps mm, it still smells so good like coconuts oh my goodness <laughs> you know i miss the days when you were at the beginning when i started doing my tj maxx and marshall's videos and you would always find a lot of Too faced in the stores I miss those days. I love finding Too Faced makeup in TJ Maxx and Marshalls just because I love Too Faced as a whole brand. I really love them. It's just because I'm a girly girl and I think they really appeal to like the girly girl side of you if you're more of a girly girl. <laughs> the packaging and everything just appeals to me more. But it's so sad. Did you hear about Jared and them stepping down from Too Faced and they're giving it to Estee Lauder? I'm wondering what's going to happen to Too Faced now. Is it going to go downhill? Is it not going to be as good anymore because they're leaving? And also in the video at the end, they made it sound like they were coming out with a completely new brand that was going to be different. So, I don't know. I'm curious what's going to happen with Too Faced. Anyways, so the... Serum I'm going to go in with instead of the Glossier Future Do, I found in my Marshalls, I believe. This is the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum Base. It says it's a hydrating and long-lasting makeup wear. That's all it says. But it looks like this. I did find this in my Marshalls. It comes with like a dropper thing, though. It's like a dropper. So we'll see. It doesn't, like not doing very good at sucking up there we go now we got a big one this one's not as thick as my glossy future do 
but it does feel pretty smoothing. I don't look quite as glowy, but I do look glowy, so we'll see. We'll see. The one point thing I like about my glossy future do is it makes any foundation look so good on my dry skin. Like when I started using that, none of the foundations that would cling to like dry patches on my face, they don't do it with that. This one, oh I think I like it. It's not gonna my face very easy. My face feels smoother, more moisturized. There is kind of like a tacky base to it. So it may be something for the foundation to cling on to. <clears throat> so next, <laughs> the foundation I end up choosing. I didn't realize that I had bought so many foundations at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Like I have the Too Faced Watermelon Foundation that I got there. Plus I have the primer that I could have paired with it. I got that there. I have the, um, what's it called? The Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation, I got that there, but that one looked really, really pale. So I think it's going to be maybe more of a winter type foundation for me. But the one I end up going with, I haven't used, and I did get it from there. This is the Anastasia, the foundation. It's the Luminous Foundation, the one that has that big print on the back. This is the foundation. So I thought I would use this today. The pump is sticking. I think I have enough of it, hopefully. The pump is sticking on this. Like, I'll press it down and it gets stuck. And I'm just going to go in with my, my beauty blender. I've been using up this beauty blender that was sent to me. Okay. Go ahead and dot this around my face. I think I might have used this foundation a couple times, but I don't remember how I liked it. Whether it looked good on my skin or not. So, this will be a good time to test it again to see if I still like it. Or not. Feels so good to be putting makeup on my skin again. I really missed. I really missed it sitting down and filming in my room. <laughs> Y'all know I've been branching out and trying to do different things on my channel. So. Feels good to be back in my room filming again. Do you have to say I don't like Beauty Blender. <laughs> Uh, now that I've been using this, I got it from Influencer. It's an eco, eco-friendly beauty blender. I got it from Influencer to test out a little bit ago. And I've been using it, just trying to get rid of it. I don't like it. It's just small. It's small. takes forever to blend your makeup out with it. <laughs> I like something that's bigger. Goes over a bigger area of your face. And there's just other sponges that I think are just as good as uh, this one. There's just better sponges in Beauty Blender now. Beauty Blender used to be the OG when there wasn't too many other companies making beauty sponges. And now so many companies are doing it too. That it's just not necessary for Beauty Blender anymore. Nobody needs Beauty Blender anymore. So funny about this um Anastasia foundation it's supposed to be luminous and it looks matte even with the glowy primer underneath this is not luminous <laughs> this is matte if you ask me maybe there's a slight glow to it I don't know it feels matte on my skin though <clears throat> the only thing I I just thought about that. The only thing I don't have that's um, on my list <laughs> is eyebrows. The eyebrow pencil I had I used that was from TJ Maxx and Marshalls and it was a um, benefit one. So I don't have that anymore. I used it up already. So I have to just use the brow pencil I've been using. So the concealer that I'm going to use today is the um, First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. I got this in my um, TJ Maxx, I believe. It's in the shade 1. And I have yet to use this because I've been working so hard on trying to use up this um, e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, which I absolutely love. That's my Holy Grail Concealer. But I have heard like really great things about this Bendy Avocado Concealer from... 
First Day Beauty. I heard it's really good. I just, I've never used it. <laughs> I bought it and then I, I still haven't used it. So, I think I'm going to go in with one of the brushes. Remember I was buying brushes saying that I wanted to have like a brush for concealer. I'm going to try and use this Real Techniques brush. It's the 035 brush. Looks kind of like, like this. I'm going to try to blend out my concealer with it because I know that this one is, I think, supposed to be like a more lighter coverage concealer. I just want to make sure I get like the most coverage possible with it. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I just don't like a concealer to blend out my under eyes. I don't know. Maybe I don't like using a brush. I'm going to go with a little bit of a, my beauty blender. Just to blend it out. Make sure it's nice and blended. I don't know. Something about this avocado concealer. I'm not loving the concealer. I can still see like my blue circles underneath. And it's on my right eye, it's gotten a little flaky, which is strange. Okay, for the powder I'm going to use today, we'll see how it looks like at the end. I'm going to put some powder on my eyes. I'm going to use this Bite Beauty Change Maker Powder. It says it's a flexible coverage pressed powder, and it's in the shade Light 1. It did come with a puff, but I'm um, not using the puff. I'm not going to use the buff. And here is what it looks like. Thought I could use that. It seems like it's something that would give you a little extra coverage. So I'm going to go in with that under my eyes. And I'm going to use this little brush from Sigma. It is called the Concealer Blend Kabuki. But I'm going to use it for pressed powder today. To see how it does. It is the F79 brush it looks like. We're going to see if we can get a little extra coverage under the eyes, especially since I think this might be a little bit too dense. I'm going to go in with my usual brush. Maybe that is more of a concealer brush. I'm going to go in with my usual brush I use, which is my e.l.f. small tapered brush. I just love it. It's just so lightweight. And it just fits under the eye so perfectly. Hmm. It does look good. I'm going to go in. I'm going to set my rest of my face with it, too. I'm just going to use my... My refer, this is what I use, the number 25 for my powder to set my face. I'll just use this powder to set all over my face because I don't have, oh, I do have one. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I have the Too Faced one, the watermelon one. It's supposed to be doing. I forgot I had that one. But oh well. I'm already setting my face with this one. I'm just going to leave it at that. Looks pretty good. I'll put the puff back in it. So everything looks set. My face is looking a slight bit dry. It's, it's okay. It's normal. It's normal, I guess. I don't usually use a whole lot of pressed powders. So the bronzer, however, I'm going to go on with today is something newer that I've forgotten at um, TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Going in with the Kat Von D shade and light. It's the contour. This is in the shade light, I believe. It's sombre and lucid. Which looks like this. I don't normally contour, but today is a different day. Maybe I should use a smaller brush to contour. I'll just use my big brush. <laughs> Should I use clean this off? I can use. I'm gonna go with my refer number five to contour. It's my smaller brush. It's a smaller brush. I've been using it for blush, but <laughs> I did um use the 
color switch to get all the pigment off of it and I'm going to go in and do the contour with that. Since this is more of a contour, I'm probably going to go over it with a bronzer just to warm it up a little bit more. This is coming off as more of a contour on my skin. I'm going to keep it more towards the back of my face. I think it looks pretty good. Well, I like that. I don't really like that, actually. I'm going to go in with the, um, this brush. That is the concealer one. I'm going to go in with the light shade and just, like, I just take it underneath my contour just to clean up. Make it appear more sharp. Hmm. I want to go and contour my nose. I'm not sure which brush I should use to do that though. Maybe this one. It's a little eyeshadow brush. Thinking about whether I want to bring in a bronzer. I guess I could. Since that does look like more of a contour, I think I am going to bring in a bronzer. And the bronzer is the only bronzer <laughs> that I've ever picked up from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. This is my Marc Jacobs Tantastic. Well, it's not Tantastic. This is the Tantric shade that I found. They do have the Tantastic shade in, uh, in TJ Maxx and Marshalls now if you want to... Um, if you want a bronzer, if you've been missing out on the Marc Jacobs bronzer, it's $19.99. Oh, I went in a little heavy. <laughs> We're going to be um, extra bronze today. Apparently, it's already, it's already summertime. <laughs> I thought I had to bring in a little bit extra, though, because... That did really feel like more of a contour than a bronzer, but maybe not. <laughs> I think that looks good. A little harsh on this one side, but that's okay. Hey. <sighs> I have no idea but my camera was not running <laughs> and I don't know when it cut off because I didn't hear it usually you hear a beep when it cuts off and I didn't hear a beep so <sighs> I'm not sure when it cut off but when I looked up at the screen it was black so <laughs> I was like oh no I haven't been filming so in case I'll know when I go to edit <laughs> but the blush I'm going in with is an oldie and it's from Too Faced it is the Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo in Strobe Berry. I've just been applying that to my face. And let's keep on applying some blush here. I thought this blush would go great with the eye look I'm going to do today. This blush just smells so good. I'm adding some to my nose because I love a blushy nose moment. Especially if you're really blushing up the sides. I'm doing like blush draping. It makes sense to add a little blush on your nose to match it. <laughs> and it smells so good. It still smells like strawberries. So. <laughs> that Too Faced smell lasts forever. Next thing I'm going into is another Too Faced item. Can you tell I like Too Faced? This is the Too Faced Love Light Prismatic Highlighter in Blinded by the Light. I believe I got this in my TJ Maxx or my Marshalls. Here's what it looks like. How gorgeous does that look? <laughs> I, this just makes me feel really sad that I haven't seen too much um, Too Faced makeup in TJ Maxx and Marshalls in a while. It makes me sad for that. I used to love finding Too Faced makeup in TJ Maxx and Marshalls. 
this is a really pretty shade I really like this highlight I think it looks really pretty looking good looking good I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows real quick and then we'll then we'll come back and we'll see what eyeshadow palette I'm gonna use <sighs> okay I'm back. I have my brows on and I've already primed my eyelids with my Elf Putty Eye Primer. So I do not have an eye primer from TG Maxx or Marshalls. So the eyeshadow palette I decided to use today, I do have quite a few that I've gotten from TG Maxx or Marshalls. And I have, I have gotten the Glam Light Cake Palette from there recently and I've been dying to use that one. But I decided to use one that I've only seen at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and I haven't seen in other stores. So I'm going to go in today with one of the Cara Beauty. This is the Cara Duo Palette. And this is the like Totally Palette which is a pink one. Now you know why I use the pink blush on me. Here is what the shades look like. Hopefully you can see that good. It's like one of those ones that has those reflective background too. So it's hard to see but. It's pretty much a whole pink and it goes all the way to red at the bottom. It's like a pink to red palette. So I'm really excited to use this today. It has so many pastel pinks. But it has so many like brighter pinks and deeper pinks. And we're going to go with a pink look today. I'm excited. <laughs> it does have some glitters in it which I don't love about that. I think I'm going to go in first to shine bright. Which is like the lightest pastel shade here. This shine bright shade. Curious to see how it's going to show up. This is like pastel pastel. So let's see. Oh this is like bright. Okay. I see you. <laughs> Pigmented. Wow. I really wasn't expecting that. That's really pretty. <laughs> I actually really like that shade. Next, I think I want to use one of the brushes from, I want to use one of the brushes that I recently got at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. This is the Real Techniques number 33 brush. It looks like a good, it looks like a good blender brush. I think I'm going to go into the shade No Duh. <laughs> I put that in my crease too. Just a little bit deeper. But it's kind of like in the same bubblegum pink. Family is the last shade, so you know I'm already loving my pink look I got going on here. And this brush is really soft and seems to be blending out pretty easily my shadows. Got a neon pink look going on here. <laughs> Gonna go back into my rougher brushes. I'm going with my number 14 rougher brush, which is a little bit smaller than the last brush I used. I think I'm going to go into hair flip and also put that in my crease. I'm curious to see if it's going to look any different than the shade I just used. It looks a little bit different, but maybe just a tad bit deeper, but it looks pretty similar to what I already put on my eyes, honestly. I want to go into a deeper pink, and I'm going to stick it in my crease in the same place. I'm going to go in with this brunch shade, which is this one. It's very pink. Oops, I just dug my finger in it <laughs> by accident. I'm going to stick that in my crease. I want like a very different pink shade going on here. This would have been a great Mean Girls palette. <laughs> Although I think it was trying to channel um, early, late 90s, early 2000s with the like totally. I really like that. It's looking so good. I'm wondering if these are going to stain your eyelids. <laughs> I'm going to go into my rougher number 13 now. And I'm going to go in with the deepest shade just to deepen up my outer corner. We'll see which one it is. Claws, I guess. So, the, deep, the shade I'm going to go into now is called Claws. It is this shade. It's the deepest pink shade I see. The one next to it looks like a pinky purple. We'll see. I'll add that one in if I think I need it. I think I'm going to add just a little bit of purple to my look. So I'm going to go into the shade that was right next to it. I'm wiping and cleaning off my brush right now. I'm trying to get the pigment off. And the shade next to it is called Savage. <laughs> Interesting shade. I'm going to take that and put it just on the very outer corners. 
It doesn't look very different from the shade I just used, honestly. Really. I thought that it would add a little bit more difference to my look. I feel like I need to go to this look and try to do a red look with it. Just to see if, um, if it, um, changes it up any. I'm going to go back into my Real Techniques brush. And I'm going to go back into my lighter shade that I was using above my lid. And just, I want to make sure that that shade is still there. I'm just going to grab a little bit more of it. So I can blend out the edge here. I'm going to go under my eye. I think I'm going to use red under my eye. I don't know. I feel like I want to use red on the mine. <laughs> okay, I've gotten the red. This one is called Daddy's Angel. It's the deepest red in the palette. It's this one. I think I'm going to do red. Instead of doing all pink look. But I feel like this looks like more of a... Now that I'm putting it under my eyes, it looks more of like a purpley red. So, I think it's going to go perfectly with what I got going on the top of my eyes. Okay. I'm going to go in with my Sigma Mermaid brush. Sigma Cinderella brush. This is the eyeshading brush, the E55. It's the one I've always been using to like blend out my under eyes. <clears throat> I'm going to go to the lightest red in the palette to do that. It looks to be um, the shade Selfie with Filter. <laughs> this shade right here is called Selfie with Filter. The other lightest shade looks to be orange. So I wanted to do stick to the reds. Even though this totally looks pink. It still totally looks pink. <laughs> so these are probably not the best reds because they're coming out pink instead of red. I like this though. <laughs> I still like the way it's turning out. I just don't think these are the best reds because of they blend into pink and they don't hold the red pigment that you see in the palette. That's all. So we're going to go in with our glitter glue now. Keep on picking up the wrong brush. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go in with my refer number 28. We're going to get the glitter glue and we're going to see which shade is going to end up be in our shimmer shade. Fun fact, I actually did get this glitter glue at a Burlington. <laughs> I found it in a Burlington when I was in there one time and I took it. I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. Everybody keeps talking about it. I have to try it and see if it's as good as what they say. <laughs> so I did get my glitter glue at a, not a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls, but it's close enough. If you ask me. I think I'm going to go with bling bling. Put it bling bling on the outer portion of my lid and then I'll go with a lighter shade maybe on the inner portion. And it looks like it could be a glitter but it also looks like it's just like a super sparkly um, pink shade. <laughs> um, looks pretty. Looks like it might just be a topper shade. Okay, at least I heard it shut off this time. Let's see. So that one turned out to not be, it's like more of a topper shade. I think I'm going to go in with this shade. I should have did this one at first. Cha-ching. It's got like speckles in it. I'm curious what that is. I'm going to go in that and top the over the other one with it and see if this one has like more base pigment to it. So I was hoping for like more base pigment, but just not getting it. Maybe it's just that everything is so pink. Yeah, it's just like, not that shimmery. Hmm. Don't mind that. That's just my thing. Let's see. Well, let's just go ahead and go in with a different shade for my inner corner. I'm going to go in with Sassy Queen. It looks like a satin, but I'm going to go on with Sassy Queen. I'm going to put that in my outer corner, too. I'm trying to find a good shimmer shade here. I haven't seen one yet. This one definitely has more pigment to it, but there's, like, nothing standing out about it. And all the shades that look really good are kind of, like, glitters. 
I think in my innermost portion of my eye, I'm going to go with the shade OMG, which is this shade here. I'm going to put that in the inner part of my eye. And then we'll go, I'll go do the other eye. That one looks pretty good. It's like adding something different to my look. The, okay, I like that shade. That shade looks good. It's not amazing. The matte's really, really good. But I'm finding out that the shimmers are not amazing as the mattes are. The shimmers are just okay. <laughs> I'm going to go on the other eye, take my glitter glue, do the same thing, and then we'll be back to do my inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight because I already know what shade I'm using that for. Okay, I'm going in with my Sigma Cinderella. This is the pencil brush E30 and I'm going to do an inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight and I want to go in with the lightest shade which is a bestie. It's the lightest shade in the palette. Hopefully it proves me right on being pretty light and bright. <laughs> which it really is. <laughs> I like that inner corner and brow bone highlight. That shade's really good. It probably would have been really good all over my lid. But I knew I wanted to use that for my brow bone and my inner corner. And it looks really good. <laughs> I'm going to use this gloss because I know I got this from there. This is the Too Faced Gloss in Home Slice. It's a comfort lip glaze. It's called a lip glaze. But I remember when Too Faced had these ones in there and I picked it up. I was like, yes. <laughs> So I'm going to go on with this one today. Ah, I wasn't expecting it to have this much pigment. This is pretty pigmented. Looks good with my look today. <laughs> I'm going to go off camera and do my mascara. And then I'll be back because I don't have a mascara from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So. I'm going to go off, off camera to do my mascara real quick and then we'll be back and I'll show you my completed look. Okay, I'm back. I put my mascara on. I zoomed in a little bit more for you so I could uh, give you a close up of my look. My hair is going crazy today for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> but here is my completed look. I really like the way it turned out in the end. I think it looks really pretty. Mm. I do think that the Caro Duo palettes, in the end I like the shimmers. I think it's best to stick with the lighter shimmers versus the deeper shimmers. I was trying to do like a gradient of like a deep to light, but the lighter shimmers in the Caro Duo palettes is where it's at. They, you see my inner corner is so popping. That's the lightest shimmer in the palette. And even the um, inner part of my eye where I went lighter and put darker, that's even real pretty shimmery. I think the other shimmers were just too similar to what I have on my uh, outer corner. So it just wasn't showing up as good. But I do like it. I'm surprised at how good this uh, formula is. Because I think these palettes are like nine ninety nine. Which is not bad. It does say that there's pressed pigments in here. There's a lot of pressed pigments in here. Most of these are pressed pigments. The only ones not is Bestie, Later Gator, OMG, Total Babe, and Bling Bling. So everything else is a pressed pigment. So this is more of a pressed pigment palette. So, I mean, so, yeah. I'm satisfied with my full face of makeup. In the end, I think I look pretty good. I really did like the KVD um, light and bronzer duo. I think that's worth picking up. It was more pigmented than I was expecting it to be. It was a little powdery, but it went on and it looks really good. It really chiseled my face. I think I would use maybe just a touch too much, but yeah. I really liked everything I used today. There was nothing that I didn't like. I thought I went too heavy on my blush at first. But now that I have my complete face on, I don't think it looks too... 
I would recommend all these products. Because <clears throat> the, the, uh, this palette, I'm just so surprised. The mattes are very pigmented. They blend out really easy. Um, only thing is, is that, like, the deeper shades in the palette weren't coming out as deep on my eyes as I was wanting them to. And the reds, the reds in here weren't really red. They were, when you put them on your eyes, they look just like pinks. Because I used it under my eyes, the reds, and you can't even tell. It looks like I just used darker pinks under my eyes. But other than that, I really did enjoy this palette. I had a good time with it. Um, I might try and use it another time. Maybe when I do a shop mustache, maybe I'll pick this again and try to just use like the reds here on the bottom just to see if I can get a different look because there is like this orange red here that I'm wondering about. So maybe next time I'll do that and we'll see if we can get a different look out of this palette because I feel like you could get pretty similar looks because there isn't really a whole lot of differentiation between the shades. But... I really enjoyed it. I had fun getting a make making a makeup look out of this today and I'm not regretting my purchase. It's really great for the price. So if you see like a color story you like from the Cara Beauty palettes, I think they are worth picking up and trying because formula is really good. I would put it up there with like BH Cosmetics and ColourPop actually. I'm surprised. It's definitely better than Elf. Or Wet n Wild's eyeshadows in my opinion. Elf can be hit or miss sometimes. Even though I love them and they're my favorite brand. Sometimes they're hit or miss. Like those first four pan palettes they put out. They're bite size eyeshadow palettes. The first ones they put out. Hits. So good. The shimmers so freaking good. But after that they've kind of been kind of eh. Like the shimmers were really good in the mint ones. But the mattes were not very good in that one. And then we have the Dunkin' Donuts collection, which I did really enjoy the mattes and the shimmers in that one. But, I don't know. <sighs> I did love everything I used today. I loved these. I just hate that you cannot find, there's not too much Too Faced. It makes me sad that there's not that much Too Faced in TJ Maxx and Marshalls now. I miss seeing Too Faced in there. And I have seen some things from Too Faced. But not like we used to. So I'm hoping that maybe they'll start to have some more Too Faced things in TJ Maxx and Marshalls now. Hmm. Maybe they will since Jared has stepped away from the brand and his brother has stepped away from the brand. I forgot his brother's name. <laughs> but since they've stepped away from the brand and it's just went to Estee Lauder. Maybe we'll find more in TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I do need to go to my CCO store, my uh, cosmetics company store, which is where you can find discounted uh, Estee Lauder brands there. And people do find Too Faced there, but it's not as good of deals as you would find in TJ Maxx and Marshalls for like Too Faced and stuff like that. But, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> that was a long-winded ending. I really enjoyed everything I put on my face. I mean, I would say their makeup is good. You just got to watch what you get when you see something that you like. I would just Google it and then check out reviews to see what they say on the reviews. That really helps a lot. I did that with a lot of the makeup I bought here. I checked the reviews to see how they were, especially on a lot of it is shades, like highlighters and stuff. This one I was like looking online for a few weeks before I ended up just picking it up because I wanted it. Because I was like, I don't know, it might be too dark for me. But online it looks light and it is a lighter shade. So it's, it works really good on my skin tone. But yeah, that's my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed this a full face of TJ Maxx and Marshalls makeup. Just to let you know if any of the makeup that you find on TJ Marshalls is any good. I really enjoyed everything I used on my face today. I think it's good. I haven't had any duds yet from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So that's always a plus. <laughs> um, but you have to let me know down below if you're... Uh, if you've purchased any of this stuff from TJ Maxx and Marshalls, do you have any of the stuff that I used in your collection? Have you tried the Cara Beauty palettes yet? What do you think? 
and I would love to hear your opinions in the comments. And um, yeah, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you're not yet subscribed, I would greatly appreciate it if you consider subscribing to my channel. And next to the subscribe button is the bell. You can ring that to be notified of all my future uploads. And I hope you guys are having a great day, night, weekend, whenever it is you're watching this. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.